men should wear more makeup. Let's probably talk about that one before we kick out of this whole episode. And I'll see you guys again another day. Let's go for this one. So what is this? BBC Sounds, right? Male makeup helped me get get me out of the door every day. Okay, this is very interesting. I'm not too sure if this is going to vibe, but let's just hear what we have to say. I've not actually listened to this, actually. This is from uh, Daniel Gray. He set up his own cosmetics brand after dealing with body dysmorphia. He's worn makeup for the last 20 years and wants his products to be suitable for everyone and encourage men to try it out. It's not just men in their 20s who are buying the product, right? So let's see what, we, what, what, what he's talking about here. What's this Daniel Gray? Is there makeup? Where do you get this from? Hmm. <laughs> let's see if we can find a picture of his stuff which before we listen to him talk Daniel Gray makeup, what is that? is there a video about it? War Paint, our founder's story is it called War Paint? okay, interesting interesting uh, name for something, isn't it, right? okay, let's hear what he has to say on, on, on BBC Sounds anyway the story all began with me in middle school. So when I was about 12 years old, I was bullied because of the way I looked, because of my appearance, which affects me massively ever since. But growing up 13, 14, started getting spots and because I was so conscious, I started using my sister's makeup to uh, cover that up. And I've been wearing makeup for the last 20 years and the confidence boost it gave me was uh, literally life-changing because I suffer with a mental illness that's uh, body dysmorphia. For me to have a something like makeup to use and feel comfortable using it, using it is really uh, helpful. Now, interesting, right? So he says he, he started wearing makeup because he, had, he was suffering from mental health issues and body dysmorphia. The issue is probably with men's makeup is that I guess men's makeup doesn't come from the same point as women's makeup. Women's makeup, for the most part, comes from the point of view of women wanting to look. I guess some would argue, if you're Jordan Peterson, you would say women wear lipstick in order to be sexually, in order to kind of uh, signal their sexual desires, right? Some would argue against that. If you're the vice guy who was getting interviewed, you'd say, that's stupid, people wear make, women wear makeup for themselves, right? But the truth lies somewhere in the middle, right? There is there is some group of women who like to just feel good about themselves and the better way to feel good about yourself is to make yourself look more attractive than what you actually are, uh, objectively speaking, because most women would say that they look probably better with makeup than without, but it doesn't necessarily mean when you wear makeup, you want a guy to, you know, suck your face off or to kind of, you know, um, have, or to get a guy to hump you, right? In a, cl- a nightclub somewhere. That's not what you want it for. But there is that idea that you're mostly coming at it from your own kind of want of uh, self-worth to kind of make yourself feel better. But if you're a man and you get bullied because of how you look due to acne or due to other sort of skin conditions or just because you just don't look as attractive as other people in your school, that isn't necessarily the same thing, is it? Don't like, we, I, I guess if you're a little girl and you put a lipstick on, you want to look because it's what you see your mum doing, right? It's like, oh, wow, she's a woman. I want to be a woman too, right? Women... Uh, or little girls mature much quicker than boys do. Um, they have a maybe a more of a need of sense of self than a boy would do, or an understanding of who they are, of who they are in society. The idea that if you're a young girl, there's that weird experience when you're growing up and going through puberty where suddenly men start looking at you differently, right? You start seeing them kind of desire you sexually, romantically. That can kind of really fuck up with your fuck with your brain. I expect for most dudes, you don't really go through that, really, do you, right? You're pursuing people, don't get me wrong, whether or not, what, what, depending on what way you swing, you pursue people, but you don't necessarily, I don't know whether or not you feel the need, you feel desired, like in that way, in order to kind of perform and to kind of peacock. I don't know when, when you, when it actually happens. I really don't know. Um, I'm not sure when, it's, when that's a thing. And maybe that's the core of the problem of why men's makeup did, hasn't necessarily taken off because men are coming at it from so many different angles. They're coming at it from him, dysmorphia, body confidence, bullying. Uh, they're coming out from kind of just um, you know, that kind of uh, just wanting to look hotter. I don't know. It's a stuff different. Whereas I feel most women generally come out from the same general point of view as opposed just want to feel better about themselves or want to look pretty or want to look like a woman, right? This idea that you look like your favorite Hollywood actresses or something. I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. Basically, can you go on? Let me get out of the the door every day. Are you wearing any makeup now? I am, yes. I wear makeup every day and my staple and go-to product is foundation. So that's just a nice, even coverage across my whole face to even out my skin tone. Sometimes use a bit of concealer and now and then bronzer and anti-shine, especially on a night out. I don't know whether this is the right thing wow. to say or not, but I can't tell that you're wearing anything. That's good. I think that's the whole point what we're right. trying to do with war paint is dispel the myths around what a lot of people think men's makeup is. You know, in the papers and press previously, it's been about lipstick, eyeliner, guy eyeliner, where for me it's simple products use a simple way to even out your skin tone make it very subtle so which is similar to what they do in tv production anyway right anyone that's on tv if you've ever been on tv you'll know that you know for the most part you always get given makeup doesn't matter what how good your skin is they want to make sure that you know 
your your face hits the cameras in an even way because you know the amount of lights they use in studios they can't afford to just have your greasy forehead sticking out there on tv so they usually always give you some kind of makeup just to kind of even out your tone of your face right and it's never really it's never really that obvious it's kind of just like slight just to kind of make sure you look a certain way on tv and if that's all it takes to kind of make men feel a little bit better about themselves it shouldn't really be a problem i like the name as well i think wall paint's pretty cool it gives it a little bit of a masculine edge because i think again i think if you're the if you're on the more if you happen to lean on the more feminine side of masculinity you'll probably be more you probably wouldn't care about wearing women's makeup right if you're james charles you're fine right you just go out there and wear women's makeup and it's okay for you but i guess if you're a uh, a more sort of a straight heterosexual male you might feel a bit weird about wearing makeup like lipstick and having blush on but if it's something that's just about to kind of even out your face then it should be fine and maybe anyway in general because men are weird like that maybe a lot of people are using it anyway they just don't talk about it right men for the most part they just use it anyway and they just keep it moving no one needs to know unless they know right um it's similar to like the dudes that go and get plastic surgery six pack there's plenty of them that do it they just don't speak about it because it's no one else's business i definitely understand that but i don't know man i've really intrigued by it because i've always wondered like why isn't there more males makeup especially considering how vain a lot of dudes have become in the last i don't know 10 years it's even because you remember when everyone was complaining that remember when everyone was teasing david beckham about being a metrosexual right it wasn't even that he was probably one of a few people that was you know really at the public eye a straight male who was really giving a shit about his appearance now it's even more right you look at the guys on love island like you know that those guys don't go three days without getting a haircut right they're always in the gym looking after their diet you know uh, using the best fragrances moisturizing themselves getting great tattoos right they're really about looking after their body so this idea that somehow dave beckham was going to you know feminize feminize the whole entire men <laughs> society is crazy because nowadays men are probably more feminine than they've ever been but also a little bit more cautious about not saying what they're doing in public they don't want everyone to know they're kind of a bit you know behind closed doors about it which is okay you know it's, it's your own thing but i don't think it's a bad thing to kind of put it out there it gives you confidence confidence isn't down to a skin color isn't down to a sexual orientation or Agreed. anything confidence is something we all need so for me this is everyone we've had interest from all around the world if you wanted to get men to try it for the first time you have to make them feel comfortable with something you know so to get it designed and aesthetically looking like how a man would want it is key as well we're not going to be for everyone right we're not going to be everyone's cup of tea like we're going to think it's absolutely ludicrous mm -hmm. all i want to do is by creating a male specific brand let people decide what they want to do everyone will probably think target audience 28 lives at home expenditure goes to the gym every day but it's definitely not so exactly. online our second best customer base between 50 and 65. i knew it yeah so it true. shows it the sense. breadth of, it sort makes of men who are looking at this sort of homosexual straight 15 year olds who suffer rosacea 65 year olds who want to cover their dark circles and these are people who never thought about using it before that's amazing man i'm really encouraged by it. i think it's pretty cool definitely check it out it's called war paint by this guy called daniel gray so again um, amazing work by him and all involved in i'd be interested to see how far this goes it's something that you see a lot more men getting involved in because i do think there is a segment of men out there who are really cause especially look at stuff that's coming with the hair stuff right people getting the, the, the hair glued on and stuff there's a real big need for some men out there to who feel very inadequate when they're losing their hair when their skin's all messed up so if everyone someone's be able to provide some kind of level of service to kind of um help these guys i think it's a good thing why not man why not jeremy you know I women have loads of bloody products that help them feel better about themselves why not men and regardless of where they're coming from direction wise as long as something to help them with it then i think it's all well and good so definitely check them out well i think it's called war paint isn't it by daniel gray check that out if you're that way involved and again i'll leave the link of the interview on the show notes you can check